Hello everyone, welcome to my new shack, but this is not a video about my shack, it's a video about something else. But you can have a preview of the new shack, as you can see it looks very nice. I'm very happy with the result. I had some issue, but I will explain that in another video that I'm working on. And I will show you the complete process, dismantling the old shack, painting the shack, building the, the furniture, transferring. Anyway, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, I'm still in the editing process, but it will be out maybe in a week. For now, what I want to show you is the new DV4 Mini software and firmware upgrade that I received yesterday, which is version 1.76 for the firmware and the 26th of February uh, software version that is available on the US site, which is the wirelessold.com, so you can go and download it. What's new in it? First, for those who have the DV4 Mini with the AMB chip, you can get uh, now C4FM. So you can work C4FM directly from, from your computer using the DV4 Mini stick with AMB chip on it. And you, that means you can actually, without any radio, you can do with that DV4 Mini version, AMB. You can do DSTAR, DMR, C4FM, and Next Edge. So that's pretty cool. So this mode was added like they did a few weeks ago for the DV4 Ohm which work very well very happy about this unit as well still waiting for the dv4 mobile but it should be uh, out pretty soon so i am confident that the the guys at wireless old and electron are working on it and will release it very soon with uh, something that will uh, just uh, out of this world again <laughs> hey chai but today the new software i told you about the amb chip i won't test it so that's pretty simple it just another mode that you can do directly with the DV4 Mini. But what I'm going to do is test the DV4 Mini with the new feature, what is called automatic calibration for DMR. Some of you are, you are DMR fans, uh, had experiment some problem, and there was a lot of people who had that problem, to stay directly on frequency and you needed to adjust into the expert tab of the software, you needed to adjust the DMR QRG frequency, you know, to, to get better result and try to stay in a green zone. And that was quite tough to achieve, especially with this type of radio. But now it's fully automatic. So that's very good because you don't have to worry about it you stay it to, to zero you just go in dmr and then you transmit and it's staying green and it's perfect for in about three or four you know transmission i had like one yellow packet you know that went through but nothing else you know it's almost 100 percent perfect so for those of you guys who are dmr fan and have a dv4 mini in your dryer you want to try it out again the DMR works pretty well. So here's the demonstration. Now you can see the software. You're gonna see that I will stay in the green zone. I'm just gonna verify that I am in echo mode. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so there we go. I will do the test. Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor testing. Probably I'm getting in, into my camera with the DMR so you can air it, but that's okay. VA2 PV testing. Now listen to the echo test. Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor testing. Probably I'm getting in, into my camera with the DMR so you can hear it, but that's okay. VA2 PV testing. Now listen to the echo test. Okay, I'll do another transmission. Check again with the software. See the, the, uh, the green light. VA2 PV, look at the error rate. You see it stay green, VA2 PV testing. It's automatic, so you don't have to do anything. So it should work flawless. VA2 PV. There you go. VA2 PV, look at the error rate. You see it stay green, VA2 PV testing. It's automatic, so you don't have to do anything. So it should work flawless. VA2 PV. Okay, once again. VA2 PV for a third time, doing the test in DMR with the new DV4 Mini software and firmware VA2 PV. VA2 PV for a third time, 
doing the test in Myanmar with the new TV quality software and firmware PA2PV. So as you can see, it worked pretty well. So try it out if you have a DV4 Mini. If you were waiting for something like this, uh, the DV4 Mini compared to the other hotspot is pretty cheap. So it, maybe it's time to buy if you are a DMR fan. Also, I don't know if you saw my AM Radio documentary that went out last week. If you have a moment to take a look, it's 20 minutes. I would appreciate a like and a, your subscription to the channel to help me support this type of production as I absorb all the costs myself about it. Uh, mainly it was equipment that I needed to buck to do the documentary, but uh, and I was able uh, to do that you know with a fairly low budget because I'm pretty close with the uh, the guys that are featuring the story uh, they live close by so I did that in my vacation and uh, did that on a few day a uh, few day of shooting made some mistake because I was doing the interview the camera at the same time lighting mic so that's quite quite too much but I did the hard work into post production while I did editing the videos uh, to make sure that it was uh, okay. For the shack, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you can see all the pictures that I post in the past. That will be good if you can follow me over there as well. Please subscribe. Your support is very important to make this channel, you know, very uh, attractive to all the others. So make my all my work and all the effort I put in this worthwhile because people are actually watching it. Thank you for your support. For those who all, all, already support me, Thank you very much. Stay tuned for my next video. I will go back to my editing process to this one. 73, catch you some other time. VA2PV will be clear.